So I went ahead and put all this edging on here for the corrugated uh, roofing to sit in. And I had one piece cut, so I figured I would uh, see what it looked like with one piece before we quit for tonight. And, and uh, we still a lot of pieces to go yet. But anyways. So, we're at it again. So, we were going to go with the metal roof, and then we thought maybe fiberglass, and we went with the PVC panels. Um, I went ahead and I drilled all the sheets. I haven't cut them to length. I cut one to length and put it up, just because I wanted to see. But they're all drilled. I went along and measured where each of my purlins was, so I was in the center. And then uh, they did only quote me one squirt, one screw on each side, but I went back and got some more screws, so I have four screws to hold the panel. Just because with the wind in this country here, you never know. So I'm, more is better. And I'll show you the along the roof and what I put there. So what I did for these is I bought 12 foot. You can get them in 8s and 12s. I bought 12s, so we're going to do white, and then I have a clear that I'm also going to go with. So it has a little bit of a blue tint to it, but it is clear. I, if you, even with one sheet, it still has a little bit of a transparency to it. So not quite. We didn't want to put all that end up dying in there because. It's sweltering hot, so this way we have uh, a little bit. These things, after you put the sheet up, then you take this and you peel this off, and then you're ready for your next sheet. So here's a bird's eye view. I have put these things on, and they just interlock. Let's find one here. It just sort of interlocks here, and then you put another one, put a few screws in it. But this is sort of the saddle that uh, the sheets all sit in and you just go across and across and across till the uh, till it's all done and uh, once you make sure you put the top and bottom on some people put them on and or don't put them on they just fly by the seat of their pants because they're not worried about any bugs or anything getting in but for us, we don't want the mosquitoes or flies getting in when we're sitting in there. So we're putting them on and uh, we'll keep all the critters out. So I tried cutting this with a grinder and then you just end up covered with this white fine, fine dust and you don't want to choke on it. But get yourself a pair of these. These are ones that you can, if they get dull, you just replace these blades and then they're good as just like new. And this stuff, I've had these for years and it's still cutting this stuff like butter. Like butter. Like butter. Just sweating just like buckets. Like that, just like butter.
just have to make sure you don't suck her down too much otherwise. Brakes or it's Puckers? Puckers. <laughs> Hello there. Hey. Yeah, see whether I'm sweating or not. It looks like the roof is. So two clear panels. And then white. I'm kind of glad we did the clear panels because I think it would be quite dark in here without some clear. And then next comes two more white, and then back to clear. Just like that. We have one white, then two clear, two white, and then we'll have two more clear, and end with a white again on this end. So we get light at both sides of the room. <coughs> Looks good in here. Hello there. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Just like that. So we're getting down to the last pieces here and uh, we just have a narrow spot on this side so what I'm going to do is instead of ripping it all the way down I'm going to uh, just d have a double layer there and it'll be just that much stronger in that one spot so that's what I'm going to do and it looks kind of cool I think anyways Back to work. Back to work. There, last piece. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm to do some jiggling around this eave on the garage here, but we got her. adjustments right on the very end there with that uh, hip, hippie thing there whatever you call it <laughs> uh, saddle it makes them stick up a little bit higher so I need to back them off a little bit there how in them and uh, yeah if I can do it anybody can do it well maybe I don't know you're a pretty talented guy It must be coffee time. Oh, come on. Well, 
there you have it. We've got the roof on it. And uh, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It was uh, actually pretty simple. Just uh, kind of follow the steps that I was doing. And it's uh, really easy. We have a few little hiccups in, in with it, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you that uh, when we give the final tour. We'll kind of show you, we'll do some decorating and whatnot in there. We still have the screen door to go on, that's another video, and, and move all, the, all my stuff in there, and the table and chairs, and make it pretty. And uh, yeah, and then we can sit in there and uh, enjoy the rest of the summer with no mosquitoes. With summer's left, anyways. So I hope you guys are uh, enjoying all these videos as much as I am uh, enjoying building all this stuff. And uh, hope you uh, take the time to like and subscribe to my videos and. Uh, don't forget to share them. I like when people share my videos so, and uh, that means more people are watching if you're sharing them. So, Anyways, uh, on to the next one. Here we go. Oh, I need more coffee. That's what I do. Gotta go and get more, more coffee. Bye for now.